Alright my friends, it's time for the final battle against Alex Wesker and it's time to conclude this walkthrough for Resident Evil Revelations 2. Before Alex Wesker appears we're going to collect a few items. And she decided to appear right away, just my luck. Sometimes it takes longer for her to appear, in fact usually it takes longer for her to appear. Other times she appears a lot faster like she did with me. The strategy for this battle is fairly simple. Alex Wesker's weak point is her heart. So what we need to do is make sure she reveals her heart. Until she doesn't, we're going to keep shooting her in the head and weaken her. And then when she reveals her heart, we're going to pull out our magnum and shoot as many shots into her heart as we can. And eventually she will die. It's needless to say that if you replay the previous chapters and gather a few items, there we go, she's already revealing her neck and heart, let's try and get it. Shoot her in the heart once, she'll fall back, and now with your magnum, shoot as many shots as you can to weaken her. I got four shots in, not bad. Having the burst ability on your magnum really makes your life a lot easier, because you'll fire two shots per turn instead of one. And now we're going to once again keep shooting her in the head until she reveals her heart once again. The most important thing is when she's stunned, shoot her in the heart once for her to fall back and then just keep shooting at her. And whenever she's down, whenever she's up on the roof, just like she is right now, she's going to reveal her heart to you so pick up your sniper rifle and shoot at her, but be careful because she will be firing projectiles at you. And these projectiles not only can they blind you and damage you, but if you stay in the smoke for too long, you can die. The more incendiary bottles you have for this fight, the better. It makes your life a lot easier. Be careful when she is moving like that because she can deal heavy damage if she crushes you with her hands however whenever she's like that if you fire a few shots at her heart she will fall back giving you a lot of time to to shoot at her and weaken her obviously this is survival difficulty so she's a little bit stronger than she would be on the easier difficulty I'm using, like I said, as many incendiary bottles as possible because they really weaken her. Whenever she goes into the ventilation shaft, that means that she will appear from the roof and she will fire projectiles at you. So keep calm and aim at her heart. And that will heavily weaken her. Either use your machine gun or your sniper rifle or even your handgun or magnum depending on how much ammunition you have. Obviously I don't have that much ammunition since I never repeated any chapters uh, and therefore 
that makes things a little bit more complicated and I missed that shot, what a shame. But at this point she should be pretty much gone. A few more shots and I'm sure I can finish her off. Oh, there she is, I need... Oh, damn it. Oh well, I had to get it at least once. Otherwise it would have been too easy. Perfect shot though, we can finish her off right now. Let's try and finish her. Oh, she's dead already. There we go. Oh, imagine that I got it so close to the end. But Alex Wesker is down. Just use this strategy and she'll be done in no time. Technology. <laughs> Fuck it right up the ass. <laughs> Yes, I know there are quite a lot of cliches with this ending, but nonetheless, this is the final fight. And you knew, this is a Resident Evil game after all, so you knew that we were going to have a fight like this. The first thing that we need to do before we help out Barry here is get the last tower emblem. And the last tower emblem is going to be located up the cliff. I already shot it once when I did a practice run for this. So there it is, make sure you get it. And now what we need to do is damage Alex enough until Claire decides to bring out the rocket launcher into play. 
So you'll switch between Barry and Claire here whenever Barry gets inside a tunnel. You will switch to Barry and get con and take control of him. And inside these um, tunnels there are a few gas canisters that you can use to highly damage Alex Wesker. But whenever you step out of a tunnel then you take control of Claire once again. And while standing outside you see, as you can see, as soon as I left I took control over Claire again and while standing outside we can use the barrels to try and damage Alex Wesker even more and after a while she will eventually get injured and Claire will bring out the rocket launcher and it will take two rocket launcher shots to finish off Alex Wesker. I don't have a lot of gas canisters right now and my ammunition is lacking so I'm just going to keep dodging as much as I can nope you won't touch me this time you already got a hit on me and that's more than you deserve so there we go and now let's step out let's step out once again and we're going to take control over Claire and hopefully I can make those two barrels explode and that will be enough to take care of Alex Wesker. Let's keep shooting at her while she doesn't move. And for those of you wondering, the reason why Mora is alive is due to the fact that I killed Neil with Mora. You have to let Mora use her gun against Neil in order to obtain the good ending of the game. So now two rocket launcher shots will finish off Alex Wesker. So let's enjoy the ending and I'll be back once my results appear. Bye bye. Look, Moira, I know I should have let you have your space. It's okay. I gave you plenty of reasons to worry. You held your own out there, Moira. Of course she did. She's a fucking Burton. <laughs> anyway, let's let these guys come in and clean up. So, what are you going to do now, Barry? I'm going to go back to being a father. He's in China now? However, at this time, we are unable to find All right. any connections to the tell Piers to look after him. As well as the tragedy that befell the city of Tall Oaks earlier this week. Authorities are struggling to stem the panic that has taken hold of China. The UN anti-terrorism...
Well, excuse me. Hey, Polly, you see my jacket over there? Natalia, are you upstairs? Come on down and get ready. A cage went in search of a bird, but now the bird is gone. The bird has changed. And that's the end of the game my friends, for once I was hoping that Capcom would let everyone be happy but it seems that Alex Wesker may have taken over Natalia in the end. Or maybe Natalia was evil right from the start. I find that a little hard to believe but who knows. It's really up in the air right now but it does seem that Alex Wesker may have taken over Natalia after all and that she's somehow related with the events of Resident Evil 6 but we'll see what happens even in the end this game managed to keep me asking a lot of questions and hoping for a sequel which is awesome it's always good when a game finishes and it leaves you wanting for more and I really think that there's enough material for a Resident Evil Revelations 3 in the future. Apparently Natalia might be the main villain for that game. Who knows, as long as Barry's family is safe and Barry doesn't die then it's okay. But there's a lot of potential here. There really is. And even though I was hoping that Barry would be happy and he would just raise Natalia, as his daughter, it seems that Natalia might end up using Barry in the end, but we'll see how everything goes. Before I conclude this walkthrough, I want to announce the last giveaway winner. So the last winner of the giveaway is Jacob B. I will be contacting you soon with your gift card code. For those of you who participated and didn't win, thank you for participating. Most importantly, thank you to all of you who joined the discussion and who always let me know your thoughts about the game and how each episode turned out. If there's one thing that I'll say is that Resident Evil Revelations 2 managed to keep me interested in the game with every single episode and even now I'm hoping for a sequel because I really want to know what happens with Natalia and so on. So yeah, it was a pretty good game to play. I don't know if a lot of people had a lot of expectations heading to the game, but it turned out to be a pretty good game. Now before I conclude the walkthrough, I just want to show you the location of that last darn insect larvae. So in Claire's chapter, you can't press that lever. Don't press the lever and then if you don't press the lever, you will gain access to this side of the plant and that way you'll be able to collect the last insect larvae. So just head down, I already cleared out the enemies in this area because really there was no point in fighting them and this brick can't be used. But let's pick up another brick and the insect larvae is standing uh, right over there past those bars. So just throw a brick at it and you'll get all the insect larvae. And that's how you do it. So this is going to conclude the walkthrough my friends. I will be releasing episodes for the DLC content. So stay tuned for that. And as always thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Take care.